Okay, this is a basic portable solar system. This is two 65 watt solar panels set up on portable adjustable legs made out of PVC pipe. The solar panels are connected to a charge controller using MC4 connectors. Now this charge controller is just a cheap uh, charge controller off of eBay. Probably cost, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. But it seems to do a good job and I like that they're uh, cheap. Now this is a basic uh, setup to harness electricity from the sun, but it won't do you any good unless you have some way of storing that, inf that energy. So the charge controller hooks directly to a deep cell battery, in this case a 12 volt deep cell uh, marine style battery for uh, storing the electricity, or for recharging the battery with solar. Now you need a way to use that energy that's being stored in the battery. One option is to simply connect it to a cigarette lighter type adapter, uh, automobile type adapter for 12 volt uh, appliances. Another option is to hook your battery up to an inverter. This is a Chicago Electric uh, power inverter. Claims to be a thousand watts with a 2000 watt peak output, which means you can plug in regular household appliances, any kind of appliance, as long as it doesn't exceed the 1000 watt continue uh, uh, output. This device claims to be uh, 4.5 amps, 120 volts. If you times the volts times the amps, you get uh, 540. That means that this device is about a 540 watt device, which is well within the capability of the uh, power inverter. So I'm going to plug it in, turn it on, and you can see that that <laughs> operates just fine using the power of the battery which is being uh, charged by the power of the sun. <clears throat> That's a complete portable uh, system uh, for solar systems. Now here's an interesting variation. Instead of using that cheap voltage regulator, solar voltage regulator, I'm using <clears throat> this uh, battery minder. <clears throat> this is a special solar system uh, version of the battery minder. Um, this is a desulfation uh, system. So with your solar panels, and this particular unit costs about a hundred bucks, uh, you're able to um, re sol uh, recharge <clears throat> some batteries that are nearly useless. I've had several batteries that, were, that had very little life in them and a couple of days sitting on this sol uh, this battery minder uh, hooked up to the solar system it pretty much recharges the batteries and and reconditions them for use i've been using these batteries ever since without any problem um, i'm not sure how long they'll last but that it's been an amazing way to uh, revitalize um, batteries uh, deep cell batteries this one has a a unit on it that tells you how charged or uncharged the system is. You can't see it very well, but right now it's telling me that it's fully charged. And I really enjoy these uh, these battery minders because they seem to work so well. Only time will tell uh, how well they work, but I've been doing this for about a year now without any problems whatsoever. As long as your battery has some life in it, <clears throat> and they seem to bring the battery back to life by supposedly uh, desulfating by uh, varying the charges that are being uh, applied to the battery and uh, like I said only time will tell how well that really works out for me. Okay here's another variation on how I use solar power for a portable solar system. In this case I've got three panels, three 65 watt panels hooked up and instead of charging a single battery I charge battery banks these are six volt 
golf cart batteries that a friend gave me. Been sitting in the their garage for on cement floor for years, uh, but they still had a little bit of life in them after running them through a battery charger for a day. So I hooked them up to the solar re uh, charger, the charger that I was just showing you, the battery minder system. Let them run for several days using the solar system, and it basically um, desulfated them to the point where I was able to uh, use them. I've been using them ever since. Again, I've been using them for about a year now. Because these are 6-volt batteries, I put them in line so that two 6-volt batteries equals one 12-volt. Now, the reason why I do that, here's a 12-volt battery, here's a 12-volt battery. The reason why I do that is because I've got it hooked up to this contraption right here. This is a ready line. And it basically takes a replacement, or it takes a place of the uh, power inverter. You don't need the power inverter when you have one of these. It's an it's a electric generator, a motor generator. So it takes two 12 volt batteries, one hooked up here and one hooked up here. Well, it doesn't know that it's actually two six volt batteries that I've got hooked up in alignment, but it basically works the same way. This particular unit is a 1600 watt ready line. So if I take my device that I want to run, 112, 120 volt, plug it into one of the two systems, I can run my power system. And you can hear the generator running. It only runs when it's needed. It'll only turn on when it needs to draw power, and then it turns off immediately when the power is no longer needed and it runs exclusively off these golf cart batteries which is charged, kept charged, by these solar systems. So this is a complete self-contained solar system that you never have to plug into the grid to charge. Uh, the sun will keep everything charged, the batteries charged as long as the batteries last. Of course they're of limited uh, duration, they'll only last a couple of years. I'm not sure how many years I've still got on these batteries, but hey, they were free.